Hey guys, thanks for coming back. This is William from fitnessforbackpain.com. You're watching my YouTube channel, and this is my coffee and coaching series where I ask questions from readers. Also dive into some extra bonus content through my .com newsletter. So if you are on the fitnessforbackpain.com newsletter, make sure you're in there. Make sure on Fridays you check out the post because there is more content in there other than this video. So what I'm gonna do today is answer a question that is very near and dear to my heart. It's something that I take very personally. It's a question that I've asked or have been asked and have answered in a few different ways over the years. And I wanna come out and say it. Um, and it has to do with CrossFit. If this is your first time at the channel, thanks so much for tuning in. You can always obviously hit subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you get notifications of the next video that comes out. And give me your opinion below this video here in the comments. Love to hear your thoughts. I know that if you are gung-ho CrossFit, you may not like what I have to say. If you are gung-ho bodybuilding, you may not like what I have to say. So check it out, leave a comment below if you like, don't like, let me know what your feelings are, uh, and let's jump into the question. So the question is, what is ineffective about CrossFit long-term? So this is my thought on exercising in any kind of way long term. This, when it comes to any kind of exercise, you have to think about what you're ultimately doing, okay? So you're breaking down muscles, you're, you're tearing things, you're putting stress on ligaments and joints and muscle bellies to make them grow bigger and stronger and, and you're running and you're doing ultra marathons and you're doing these things that are ultimately abuse to your body. Now our body was not designed to pack on 50 pounds of muscle and then to sprint or to get hit. I mean, there's, there's things that our bodies were not necessarily designed to do, but because of how efficient, because of how awesome this creation is, we've adapted and we can do that and we can put 50 pounds of muscle on. And, and what, are we gonna have health benefits to it? Yeah, are we gonna have negative effects of doing this kind of things? Absolutely. So when it comes to exercise, you have to look at it from a broad spectrum of why we don't like CrossFit or why I don't like CrossFit. And then also what we're actually doing to our bodies through exercise. And the big picture is what the heck really matters. Like what matters when it comes to exercise and how we want to approach what we've been given as a body and how we want to treat it. Now, when it comes to CrossFit, I think CrossFit can and is very abusive. I think it's a type of workout that attracts a, a very specific personality. When it comes to mental personality, I, I, I believe that people have like their outward type A or type B personality. Then they have this mental fortitude in their minds and they just love to be pushed really hard to their max limits. And some people don't. They don't like the feeling. It's not about their type A personality or type B personality, but they, what, how they approach exercise and, and, and being beat up on their bodies, they have a choice and they don't like to be beat like that. Now, I've had clients who, um, who love it, who liked, who always wanted to get, to get hit hard. They wanted to have the craziest workouts. They wanted to be pushed the hardest. They, puking was a, was a goal for them. And, and it was fun, but at the end of the day, it's now that I've progressed years and years and years of that kind of experience and, and kind of fitting into where I think I fit best in the industry, I don't like it. I don't train that way. I don't think that anybody should be coaching in that fashion. So when it comes back to CrossFit, I think what happens is people jump in because it's fun. They like that, that beat down of a workout, that boot camp style training. So they jump in. But the problem is, is people who have sensitive backs or people who develop issues with their lower backs, they think that doing the CrossFit, doing the activity, the exercise, being active is what's going to help them relieve their pain when really it doesn't because ultimately they're just going in and they're carelessly moving and doing terrible movements with this weight. And yes, there's great coaches. I, I can name off lots of great CrossFit coaches that if they were put right in front of you and watching you work out, they would probably correct eight out of the 10 things you're doing wrong because they care and they care. They understand that you have to do CrossFit well. You just can't do it. You have to do it well. But unfortunately, 80%, I would say, of the coaches that are in these CrossFit boxes don't really care about that stuff. They haven't experienced back pain for themselves. They have not fought and clawed their way out of a sensitive back or a long history of chronic back pain. 
So they don't really have a fat clue. So what you're doing in the corner of that group of 15 people is doing those thrusters to burpees to deadlifts and you're just roasting your lower back and you're doing it terrible. You're doing an exercise like a burpee that you shouldn't even be doing. I don't think it's even an exercise that should be added to any kind of curriculum because ultimately you can break that down into two or three different parts and get the same effectiveness from the exercise. There's really no point in repeatedly doing an exercise like a burpee. So if you take that and you maximize it, doing things like deadlifting and push presses and thrusters and wall ball squats and all these different things that are repetitive over and over and over and over, you put someone with a sensitive back in that environment and they're gonna wanna be pushed. They want that community, they, they like that camaraderie and they're gonna strive and they're gonna go hard. And it's all about accomplishment, just like any other gym is about accomplishment. But I've seen it in CrossFit boxes where as long as you get it up, as long as you can get it to your chest, as long as you can get it above your head, it doesn't matter how you got it there, it just matters that you did get it there. Once you did get it there, they clap and they go nuts and you feel awesome and, and you feel connected. And that's what CrossFit is. But unfortunately, a lot of times the CrossFit environment, again, is just reckless. I think CrossFit is a very reckless sport. Now it goes back to everything else. I mean, people who are power lifters, people who are bodybuilders. I mean, ultimately we're gonna pay for the habits that we do. If you played football in high school, in college, and you went to the NFL or some kind of uh, amateur league and you got beat up, you're gonna have problems today. There's countless, countless numbers of people that I know who are coaches now who used to play sports and their bodies hurt from their sport. Now they're in their 30s, their late 30s, their, their 40s and maybe early 50s and their bodies hurt, their knees hurt, their backs hurt. So to circle all this back around, I, there's aspects of CrossFit that I absolutely love. I, like, I love the community. Not many gyms can develop that kind of community. Um, there are gyms that aren't CrossFit that have that kind of community, but community is everything. I think CrossFit does that very, very well. I think if you are trained, if you have the genetics, if you have an amazing, amazing coach who cares about you and what you're doing and not the other 30 people that are in their class, if they're focusing on you, I think you can develop yourself into an athlete that you never thought that you could ever become. You have to find a coach that's going to coach you one-on-one -on -one and give you that kind of attention. If not, it's your fate, your lower back, and your, your injuries are in your hands because you're going to want to do it and follow along. Just like any kind of boot camp class or high intensity interval training, it's all the same. It's all the same. You go, 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 regardless of how you feel, regardless of, of, of what's happening or how much pain you may be in. The goal is to push yourself harder, harder, harder. And unfortunately, that does not work in the long run. So what do you wanna do? What do you wanna accomplish when it comes to your exercise? Do you want to be able to run with your kids? Do you wanna be able to, to help your son when he gets older work on that motor or pull the motor out of the car? Do you wanna go freaking garden? If you wanna have your whole backyard landscaped by you and the wifey or you and the hubby, if that's what you wanna do, then exercise in a way that's gonna get you in shape get you out of pain, but on some kind of long-term sustainable program. So that's my thought on CrossFit. I kind of went on to some, some weird tangents, but again, it's not necessarily about targeting CrossFit and why I think CrossFit sucks. I think it's a more about the big picture of exercise and what you may be thinking is right when really it's not and really trying to put into perspective the whole reason or what your why is when it comes to exercising. Whatever you choose to do, think about why you're doing it and once you have that why down, make sure you're doing it in a way that's sustainable, that will keep you alive and healthy and injury free for the rest of your life. Thanks so much for watching guys. Again, that was another episode of Coffee and Coaching with me here in my little home gym that I have here. I appreciate you watching that. If you guys have a question or would like to hear something talked about on this video, leave a comment in the comment section below Again, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you press the button and subscribe. Support me, help me out, share the love. Peace.